All right, in this video, um, I'm going to pick up where I left off, and we're going to make this class for the people, the Star Wars people. We'll just use the same code, but um, uh, yeah, we're going to change this face photos back to using this, um, just so we can do best practices. Then I'll show a, another way to automate this process. I mean, it's not really tedious. It, yeah. All right. So, um, so fetch people. So we're we'll uncomment this. And we'll pass the data. Oh wait, that's actually the function name in this. <laughs> Parse people. So. It'll be used. Um, yeah, the code does the JSON decode, decode I believe. So we use that. So parse photo. They won't recognize person yet because we haven't created created it. But at least we we'll get this um, parse people. Or should we make people person? Oh, person's gone. Person people. Person. All right, we'll create the person class for our person objects. So you right click on lib new dart file and just person all right so it'll be pretty much this code um i'm not gonna do them all yet until we get in the next video we're, we're going to create the detail page so when you click on a person we'll show all the details so we'll show um let's see their name or the name height mass basically all of this information I'm not sure if we should show this on the same page the objects with the rays so I'm not sure about that yet I'll think about it I'm gonna start making the next video but um, just to get back to the so we're right now we're gonna copy this class paste it in the person class and just rename photo to person everywhere So just do replace. So. Person type. I don't like using that really sometimes, but it's fine. So we'll just use name and birth date for now, since that's what we have. Um, we'll cut all of this off. And really, you need to get it from results. So. The results are right if you if you remember from the previous video. Um, all of the people are in a result results array, an array called results. So. Um, JSON results. Or right. I'm tripping. Okay. That needs to be a string, so. So, JSON right here will do results, name, or. Wait. Yeah. Mm 
Wait, let me see. Let's import person first. Course people, we don't need this. Be cozy right here. Okay, yeah, yeah. So actually, we'll do the results right here. So. We could do final, but whatever. Probably should, but first results. Because in the part in this map right here, uh, it's actually doing the. Each one, JSON is uh, each basically thing in the result. So, so instead of using parse, we're going to use results right here. That should be good. I mean, the app should, should crash. Shouldn't it? I'm not, I haven't checked that yet. But, um, yeah, so this should be good. What do you just undo all this right really. Alright. So with this. Oh camera case. I'll just pop in <laughs> with the JSON is doing. So I'll just go with camel case. So that's what plugin is recommending so um let's see return person yeah that should be good okay the other place to make a change obviously in people list but also on um, in the feature builder so how this is list of photos and the example I'll just show you um, yeah, so they had a list of photos. So we're just going to do a list of people or pers person. That's the object we use. The same. So we'll just pass that. Just to show you. Um, yeah, that would be the snapshot. So. Yeah. So. People. So we don't need to parse results because the item builder did that, but um, we don't need it because. <laughs> Um, we do that in the json.deco or the parse people function. So, um, so there's no results or objects. So, yeah, I'll be people with length. Name. So, this will just be person.name. This will be per or yeah, person dot birth year. The birth date dot why not name a date? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I meant to use birth year, but okay. Um let me look. <laughs> I'm just trying to double check. Let's see. 
Yeah, this is probably from the earlier build. Like, broke or whatever. Pretty sure. I'm just going to stop it and rerun it. Oh, let's see. Well, dynamic. Where is the... Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, this would be a list of people. That's where we're returning, so... A person. <laughs> Sorry. So, that should fix it. I'll rerun it again. String dynamic has no instance method cast. So, oh yeah, it doesn't need cast really. <laughs> I don't know why I left that. Okay. Um, what they're using in the photos example I needed. We could have used it, but we just have to do it in a different way. Oh, it's my birth date. That's what it is. Uh, it's birth year. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. No, I'll fix that. It's still trying to build the other thing. But okay. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so that's working. Um. So you can auto generate with this class with every instead of typing every <laughs> name. We might use that actually. I'll see. But instead of typing every name, we just need a snippet or every. Field in a in the object for the JSON. So type, instead of typing all of this, we can. There's a tool to automate. Somebody made a tool to automate it. It was pretty cool. You just need a snippet of the JSON. So I just copied this. If you go to this URL, I'll leave it in the description. You just paste the JSON. It'll create the Dart class. You put your name, so we'll name it the same as the other class. So generate Dart. Well, I'm not going to use private fields, but see, so it gener generates the class for you. And so all you really need is from JSON. So you just pass the data right here. Same thing we were passing already, but it has all the results. So it has the results. It gives you back the results array right too. So. actually made another class for the results it actually found that and made another class which is cool so and even on the other see we could use cast like that but anyway even on the other arrays it even made them for you yep so you just get the results array right there so that's nice do they have a copy button? No. You just copy the whole thing. Really. So you might use that next. Um but in the next video we're gonna go over um open up a, opening a new screen and then showing all of these details in it. So I have a detailed persons page basically. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Um, if you liked it, like and subscribe. Thanks.